welcome to my shed. Um, we're not really getting out much lately because I've still got this virus. It's just dragging and dragging and dragging. But um, I'm hoping to get out um, sometime um, this month in November. But until then, we're pretty much confined to barracks. And um, I'm thinking, you know, winter's just on the corner, just on the edge, okay? So it's a good idea and a good time to talk about winter kit and clothing. Okay. Now, lots of people, I do get a lot of questions about items of kit, um, especially clothing. Okay. Now, luckily for me, um, about a week ago, a good friend of mine who owns a surplus store um, just come back from Holland where he's picked up quite a bit of kit, um, winter kit. He was going shopping, lucky him. <laughs> and he's got a lot of Swedish stuff. Okay. Now, obviously, when you're thinking winter's coming, it's going to get cold, you know, do what the Romans do, okay? I, how should we put it, you go to um, jungle training school in the military, you know, the founders of the survival courses learn from the locals. Get all the knowledge, do what the locals do, it's the same thing. So if you're going to be buying cold weather kit and equipment, get it from cold weather countries. Makes sense, right? I mean... You know, if you was a cold weather country, why would you kit out all of your armed forces in poor quality kit and equipment? You just wouldn't do it, okay? Swedish, from past experience, um, dealing with military kit over the last few years, um, Swedish, Dutch, um, some British and some American kit is fantastic. Them four, definitely the best in the world regarding surplus kit, okay? So Swedish, outstanding. And it's got a very good reputation from being well made, okay? But before we delve into Swedish stuff, there's one item that is Austrian. Obviously, keeping the theme of winter, cold, Austria, it gets cold. Um, myself, personally, I've been in Austria quite a few times. The coldest I've been exposed to is minus 18 centigrade. And believe you me, you really do need to wrap up warm in the temperatures, okay? Especially, don't get your hands or loose skin out in the cold, it's not good. Gloves, very important, okay? Now, he's got loads of these in, and um, he's sold quite a few already. So, I thought, I might as well let you guys know sooner rather than later, because do you remember when I'd done that French infantry tent video? Um, my friend had seven or eight left, and the next day, they're all sold. And I still get messages now saying, where do I get them tents? They're sold out. So, this is to help people who are generally after some kit equipment, okay? It's a heads up, because... This sort of kit doesn't stay around for long. Okay, it really does fly off the shelf. So at least I can do is let you guys know what's in stock at the moment. And if you like videos like this, let me know in the comments and I'll try and get some future ones done because it all helps, all right? So we're gonna be looking first off at these Austrian mittens. Really like these, okay, they're brilliant. The outside is waterproof, windproof. Genuine leather palms with a trigger finger. Okay, so if you do need to do anything delicate, you haven't got to take your mittens off, you can still operate it. And that is actually insulated inside. Okay, it's not just a bit of nylon, it's lined. Okay, speaking of lining, it's all genuine wool. Okay, excellent quality. And obviously, you've got all the instructions on there of how to keep them clean. All right. So, Austrian winter mittens. We'll keep your hands nice and warm, okay? So gloves, very important. Now we're going on to the Swedish stuff, right? The top end stuff. Now this looks a bit odd, okay? It's a hat, as most of you have probably realised. But this, uh, I believe, to be um, Swedish naval issue cold weather okay so it's lined on the inside and this really is waterproof there's no way that is going to leak okay there's no way that is going to leak it's 100% quality rubber waterproof okay it's not Gore-Tex um, in past experience in heavy rain condition Gore-Tex will eventually get wet okay it will Gore-Tex has got billions of holes all over it allows moisture out and nothing else in. But in time, after heavy rain, it will get wet. This will never get wet underneath. 
It's excellent quality too. So the idea being is you've got, you wear that to the front of your head and that to the back. Obviously the rain will just run off your back past the poncho or rain jacket to stop the rain going down the back of your neck. It's a typical old school military sailor's hat really. And of course if you want to uh, close your ear flaps, you can secure it with the string that's attached, okay? So that's a nice touch. Now, these next two items, very, very, oh well, wow, so cool to see these. Now, you're not gonna believe this, Swedish Army Issue Long Johns, 1941. Brand new, never been used, okay? They've been sealed, and the condition is amazing. It is just come straight out of the factory, okay? Just look at the quality there. It's brand new, as I say, they've never been used. And they're all buttons, as you can see. They come in different sizes, so check them out when you go to order them, okay? And the back, you can adjust that if you lose or put on a bit of weight, okay? So, to find these, these were so sought after. You know, the genuine ones. World War II, baby. I mean, you know, um, it's just so cool looking at the, the way these have been made. Really, really loving that. And I wanted to compare it with the new style. Well, I say new style, these were issued in 1992 or unissued. They've never been worn. All of these long johns are brand new. They've never been used. And uh, these are elasticated, as you can see. Size six. I'm six foot, 180 centimeters, and I'm about 36 inch waist. These are spot on. You see what I'm saying about the, the quality, okay? Now, when you get to these end pieces, which go towards where your feet come out. This material is very soft and comfortable, okay? Now, obviously this has been designed in mind for comfort, okay? And the quality of the stitching is for all to see. Very good quality stuff. I mean, I've been using the, the British Army ones, the green ones, and to be fair, they're great long johns. No one can dispute that, but they're probably about half the thickness of these. And you buy these in um, a pair, so you get two of them. And the older ones, I think you get three of them as a set. But mate, I'm really looking forward to comparing these actually with the brick ones to see what the difference really is. So if you're outdoors for extended periods, your legs are gonna stay nice and warm. Okay, especially if you're inactive. It's okay when you're moving around, but when you stop and you haven't got a fire or whatever, if you just got thin trousers on, your legs are going to get cold very quick. Okay, so old and new long johns, excellent. Right now, this is a new one by me. Okay, um, we all learn about kit and equipment as we go. This is um, Swedish, again, as I said before, and this becomes part of their layering system for their extreme cold weather clothing range. Okay. So, you would have um, base layers on, you would have like a Norwegian shirt on or something, you would put this on, then you would put this pullover on top of that, then your smock. We're talking extreme cold weather, okay? Now, being in cold weather conditions, it's best to have multiple layers. All the layers are going to do is they're going to trap wind, or keep, sorry, keep air in between each layer, and air is an insulator. You know, an ordinary house, it's got cavity walls, it's got a gap of air to insulate. You know, you get the idea. So this one is quite a thin um, wall. These these appear to be brand new actually. The, the zip up cardigans are brand new. Um, double check the sizes, he's got them all on the, uh, the eBay store. Now, here's another tip. When you get zips, okay, these are brand new, as I said before. They're all quality stuff coming out of Sweden, all right? Is get a candle. This is what I do personally. I just run it along there. It's the cheapest, best way I find 
of uh, making sure, and I do that of all of my kit, okay? Maybe once a year, maybe once every two years, I'll just get everything on my kit range that's got a zip on it. That's including rocket pouches on Bergens, cardigans, the size of waterproof Gore-Tex trousers, anything that's got a zip on, okay? Get a candle and just go backwards and forwards on both sides of the zip. Get your zipper, go up and down, wear it in. One, that will make the zip move very easily, preventing snags. And two, there's a very small element of waterproofing with the wax in between where the zips go. So it stops a bit of rain coming in as well. So you've got a dual purpose idea of the candle. This will go on underneath, as I said. It's got holes in the armpits for ventilation to stop you really getting bad and sweaty. And the long cuffs with your thumb comes through the hole at the end. And trying this on, they fit like a glove. They really do. Now my advice is if you're getting stuff like this, because this layer is going closest to your body, get it closest to the size of your body, okay? And moving along to the jumper, sweater, pullover, whatever you want to call it. We all know what they really are. Good quality, 100% wool, yet again, well made from Sweden. Make sure this size is the next size up, okay? What you don't want to do is to get these two in the same size and it would just be tight and confined and it's not good, okay? Plus you're not getting that good decent amount of air in between each layer. Um, these ones aren't new, unfortunately. Um, I think the popular size, like myself, the 44 inch chest, they have been worn, okay? So you have been warned. <laughs> if you want brand new stuff, I don't think they have these in brand new. But other sizes, I think they do. You have to check, you know, all of these things. I can't remember which is which. But, um, no, the quality is there. And for me, it's the most important thing, okay? Personally, I'm not fussed if they're brand new or they're second hand. Um, where I'll go, the guy does grade them, okay? So you're not going to be um, getting a potluck. It's explained exactly what you're getting. So please read every description before you buy, okay? Um, but yeah, these jumpers, they're just like the, the Brit ones, okay? But they're not as stretchy. These are 100% wool, thick wool, mahusif as you can see. <laughs> and uh, yeah, absolutely love them. The quality, as I keep saying, the Swedish stuff. Strange size though, this is a size four, okay? I don't know why they call it that, but that's what they call it. And that is it for the Swedish collection, <laughs> as it were. So that's just a heads up for some of you guys wanting to know about kit equipment, especially with winter just around the corner. And speaking of um, winter just around the corner and kit, I remember seeing the video um, yesterday and very, very poignant what the guy said. I forget the guy's name, it's Doze57 um, or something, I'm not quite sure what the channel is. But um, he touched on the subject about important things to store, especially for winter time, especially in uncertain times we live in now, okay? Now many people were bang on about, yep, I've got a big storage of guns, a big storage of ammo, a big storage of food. That's brilliant, of course it is, it's essential in some parts of the world. But no one really talks about warm weather kit. You know, what happens if you have a power cut and you haven't got a wood burning stove and you're cold in your house? At least you've got good quality warm weather clothing to keep you warm. Um, I can't see why it's overlooked, to be honest, because for me personally, um, your core body temperature is the most important thing above anything else. And if you're getting too cold and you can't keep warm, if you can't get access to a fire for whatever reason, you're going to die. It's simple as that. Your body temperature's only got to change by two or three degrees either way, and you're in big trouble. So, stuff like this, um, okay, it's not got a flashy label on there, and um, it's not, you know, some of it isn't brand new, but it really will keep you warm. And for the quality and the price, you can't really fault it, to be honest. That's why I go shopping at surplus stores, especially with good quality winter kit. 100% wool, especially from Sweden. You can't really lose. So if anyone is interested, what I'm going to try and do is go through his eBay store based in the UK and put links to every individual item. Okay, So it's easier for someone like yourself who wants to go and see more information about it. Rather than going through the whole eBay store, they can check each individual item they want. So I'm going to chuck them below. Okay, 
Um, it's purely, you know, to satisfy the guys who ask me about kit and equipment. Um, I do try and point out what I'm doing overnighters and stuff, but I don't want it to take over. So I thought I'd just do one video on Swedish winter kit clothing. Okay? Hope this helped. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay funky.